and Broom gave its best shot, led by Peter Skogard. 51 saves on 54 shots for Skogard, 25 saves on 28 shots for Niedert. Coming in is David Lawrence. David Lawrence comes in, goes a forehand. He's going to go slowly in the delivery. Left circle, moves in, Lawrence, two save by Niedert. He did not go down early. Lawrence with a couple of swift moves. But in the end, the shoulder pad blocked Lawrence from getting it to the top shelf. Here's Igor Karlov. We'll see if Skogar can come up big against Karlov. Karlov moves in, forehand, backhand, between the circles, fakes, tries to sweep it, and lost possession. And apparently the time is still ticking on the clock. I do not know why it is. There's no time limit on a shootout. Just keep on going and going until an even number. That comes on the breakaways. Between the circles, saved by Neert. The shot by Cosmano. Actually, by, jo jo by Quinn McIntosh. Not Cosmano, but McIntosh with a huge save. Currency in for the Danbury Whalers. Just signed by Danbury for the Broom game. He traveled to Broom and scored a goal. Well, had three points, and there Ball is a start. stoppage for a moment. Ball start. It's almost like you're playing football on offense. Ball start, <laughs> offense. And yesterday for the Jets, or at least for the Bengals, was number 81, Terrell Owens. Here comes Currency between the circles. Moves in backhand, slips it wide. They, these goaltenders cannot be stopped. Mm -mm. Will we get a goal in this shootout? Well, I hope so. Otherwise, we'll be here until Rome make, comes into town for a 7 p.m. game tomorrow. Hey, this might be the longest game of the year. <laughs> oh, no question. Nine. No question about it. It is James Gehring. Five goals. Make it six goals on the season after tonight. Here comes Gehring against Nick Nieder. Moves to the right circle. Wraps it. Save by Nieder. He threw a difficult wrist shot on net, but it was blocked away by Nieder. He cut off the angle. The Danbury Whalers have great Seifert. Seifert has been outstanding tonight. Seifert rushes in between the circles. Backhand, forehand, fakes, tries to slide it through. Oh. And Kept possession of the puck, he didn't even shoot it. That's the second time this week that's happened to Chris Seifert. Boy, oh boy. Talking about pressure, comes down to the final two shooters. Oh. This is the fourth shooter for the road team coming up. They're sending out number 10 for Broom County. That's McIntosh again. Ma no, Matt. Oh! I think it is three shooters. It might be. Quinn McIntosh comes in. Forehand, backhand. Back to the forehand at the right circle. Shot, score! Beautiful move by Quinn McIntosh. Ooh. One to nothing, Broom. Now who will Ferriola send out? That's a good question to ask. Who will he send out? He's looking, he's looking. And, and he might send out Chris Seifert. That's yes. who's going out. Well, third time might be a charm here for Chris Seifert. Chris Seifert moves in against Peter Skogar. Moves in, shot, score! He got it on the second. Time, a shootout at one. That was a cliche that was absolutely true just then. He just got it by to save the win for Danbury. And now it's a tough decision. They go with James Gehring again. One on one. Here we go. Gehring against Niedert. Fakes it. Sticks it. Big quote check by Niedert. This could be it. Who will it be? Seifert again? Seifert what? Oh, my God, they're it again. Are they allowed to do this? 
this. I don't know. Seaford in. And Skogar moves it between the circle. Oh, fires it off the glove. Oh, Peter. You try to go one too many times. It's one thing if you're Sidney Crosby. It's Macintosh again. Macintosh. It's the Macintosh versus Seaford show. Who outdoors who? Macintosh moves in. Backhand. Forehand. At the left circle. Moves in. Saved by Neither. Macintosh could not lift it. And what will Chris Ferriolo do? I He's a done guy. Oh, my goodness. I would have got a pile of that score to go since September, since October 30th. Here comes Guy. Moving it all over. Between the circles. Fake shoot. Save by the goaltender Skogard. He had a great shot, but the glove was there. He was going top shelf. Oh, baby. The next shooter. <laughs> that Recio? This is an ex epic. It is. Moving back in. Shot. Save. The save was made by Nieder. Even though the puck floated into the net with the goaltenders, Recio thought he had it between the legs. Oh, no. I don't. That was close. If reached out, that would have been a goal. Oh, that was so close. But here, who's who's gonna stay out? I would said Karloff out. It's O'Malley. O'Malley. Go figure. Sean O'Malley. Moving from left to right. And Dan Barry Willis has a chance to put this game away once and for all. O'Malley up the left side. Flash through the middle. Face shot. Shootout. Dan Murray moves to 6 0 at the Dan Murray Ice Arena. And are now 7 5 and 1 on the regular season. They give each other a big hand. That was a gut wrenching performance. We will have the post game show coming up right after this. Stay tuned, you're listening to the Dan Murray Wheelers Sports Network.